start with hand hygiene and introduce yourself. Confirm the identity of the baby, explain the examination and gain consent to perform it. The baby should be held securely and comfortably either on the lap or over a shoulder. It's important for them to feel safe. Start by asking if there are any concerns about general development, eyesight or the appearance of the eyes, then make some observations. Get a sense of the baby's general and visual development by looking at the way they move, their tone and posture and how well they can fix on your face and eyes. Move your head from side to side, increase your distance and make silent smiles. Take note of how steady fixation is, if they respond to your silent smile and the distance at which they lose fixation. At the same time, look for any signs of wobbly eyes, squint, red eye or white pupil. Then prepare the arc light by selecting the brightest light setting with three clicks. Make sure the lens rack is at the top where there is no lens power in the sight hole. The examination room needs to be quiet and dim. Most babies will then naturally look at a light. Get the sight hole close to your eye and at arm's length observe the fundal reflex in both eyes at the same time. Compare the brightness and colour between the two eyes. Look for any dark patches in the reflex or complete absence of the reflex. Also try to note the position of the corneal reflections. The appearance will vary depending on your distance from the baby and the angle of examination. In a normal examination, there should be no overall difference in the brightness and colour between the two eyes, with the corneal reflections appearing central. This is a normal fundal reflex test of a white baby. In non-white babies, the colour of the fundal reflex is different. The reflex tends to be paler, with yellow, white and even blue the main reflecting colours. This is what the normal examination of a black baby looks like and is why this test is increasingly called the fundal reflex test rather than the misleading red reflex test. Abnormal findings are when there is a persistent overall colour or brightness difference between the two eyes, a displaced corneal reflection, a dark patch present within the reflex of one or both eyes, or a completely absent reflex. To summarise, a normal examination is when there is no overall difference in the brightness and colour between the two eyes with central corneal reflections. An abnormal fundal reflex is when there is a difference in the brightness and colour between the two eyes, a displaced corneal reflection, a dark patch present within the reflex of one or both eyes, or a completely absent reflex. An abnormal fundal reflex test can indicate the presence of cataract, retinoblastoma, corneal scar, squint, refractive error, or a structural abnormality such as coloboma. These all require further assessment by a specialist. After the examination, repeat hand hygiene, thank the parent or carer, and document and explain your findings. Agree a clear plan for further assessment if needed.